welcome to Charo Trust School, a school that is dedicated and committed to deliver primary and secondary school education services to children between the ages of 6 and 18. Spare me some of your moments to share with you some of our achievements during the past 10 years. Charo Trust School was opened in 2004. This year marks 10th years of CTS existence. Construction of the school started on a virgin bush with an incomplete structure which they bought from their neighbor. The area of the school site marked the end of Lusaka East settlements and was inaccessible by vehicles. There were very few homesteads in the area. This is the original building. That's a, that was the first building. Uh, it used to be our house uh, where my family and I used to live. And then uh, after we finished the, the house, we stayed in it. Well, we thought that it was too big for us as a family. We needed to uh, convert it into something that would be useful. So we then came up with the idea of a school. And then we decided that uh, we would start with building the uh, classroom blocks. So the first three classroom blocks are housing four classes in each block. Uh, we have the first one was this block here. And then we did this block, and then we did this block. Now, in each of these blocks are four classes. This block and this block are the teaching blocks. The third block houses the ICT and the library and the science labs. So in total we have uh, 12 classes. Uh, in these three blocks. Construction started in 2001 and was partially completed for opening in December 2003. The development of CTS infrastructure has spanned over a period of 17 years, broken into four phases. The first phase included construction of the secondary school classrooms and the girls' hostels completed by 2003. The second phase included the dining hall and the kitchen, completed by 2005. The third phase included the construction of the management offices and junior boys hostels, completed by 2007. The fourth and the latest phase included the construction of a primary section, completed in 2011, and the senior boys hostel completed in 2014. The school opened its uh, gate to uh, the public in the 2004 with a population of nine children and 18 teachers. In other words, uh, the proportion of uh, uh, children to teachers was one to two. One child to two teachers. And that was a big challenge uh, to the school. Over the years, um, the school has grown. Uh, we took a bold decision to invest in advertising. We advertised uh, heavily uh, at the start of the school. And um, we've noted that uh, over the years, over the last 10 years, the numbers have increased uh, to uh, slightly over 245, precisely 248, which is now a proportion of uh, about one teacher to 10 children. The current scenario is that um, uh, we have noted um, probably 50% of the children coming into the school in the last uh, uh, two years has been due to 
uh, indirect advertising. That means our own children who have gone through the school and their parents have gone out and sold the school to others. They've gone out and recommended others to come to our school. As you can see, we have been very fortunate here that uh, we have received a new road, uh, Tarmac Road, which is just passing by our school. And uh, if you look up, you may also be able to see the uh, fiber uh, network, which has been uh, inst installed by Zamtel. And uh, very soon we will be connecting ourselves uh, to this fiber network. And um, uh, it is a development for our school. Our school is a core education facility catering for both boys and girls between the ages of 6 and 18, catering for both boarding and day scholars. The school offers both local syllabus at junior level, that's grade 9, and the Cambridge-based examinations GCE at senior level, grade 12. At both levels, the pupils have a wide range of both compulsory and the option subjects. Chalo has helped me span in my spiritual life and academics. This is a very good institution. They teach and they make sure that you understand why you're here and you understand the reasons why you should be in school. It's a very good school. The people here are very exciting and they're very welcoming. Um, I like the fact that you know you can do different types of uh, activities here and I enjoy the whole African side, the, the activities that they bring here. It's, it's awesome. I never discovered that I can run, but Chalo has, has brought out the inner me of sports. I can really run. Actually, I ran 1.5 one, one at OIDC and um, 1,100 by 400 at OIDC. I came up third and I was so glad to know that I can run. My parents are very happy with my performance at the school because when it comes to the sciences, chemistry, physics and biology have improved greatly from my previous school. This school has, has since it has lots of um, scientific facilities, there are enough, there's enough apparatus in the, in the laboratory who are exposed to different elements of the periodic table. At this school, the social life is actually much better and more focused on. We have entertainment every Saturday, but mostly the first Saturday of the half or the term will be called social night, where everyone, since most new people come on that day, we are given a chance to socialize in the dining hall at night or listen to some music. We can play board games and engage in other activities like singing and dancing and rapping. I'm, I made lots of friends at this school. Okay, okay, go. You been lying that she need me? I make your wishes come true like a genie. Is it Pazano or Pazini? Pazini. I'm just trying to get it, man. I saw from the beginning and I probably should have quit it cause the niggas think they fly than tennis. Niggas still ask me about Hell's Kitchen so I'm making straight face then I let them do the dishes. Speaking about the dishes, I'm just trying to get the spinach and you niggas getting cheese only when you taking pictures. AKA the best man running out of tissue and you niggas in your diaper, you should probably flip a nickel. Nico. Yeah, starting up the charge, now I'm flowing with the current. Never saw the bottom, cause the top is where I started. I'm bringing down the beat like David and Goliath. Say, leash upon my neck, bad B, be the baddest, yeah. And yeah, I got this, you can never get this. I build it out of nothing, you think I'm playing Tetris. Crickets on the mic, oh, hey, to sign your death wish. Semis have been killing on this track forever. Rocky! CTS was a brainchild of Mr. and Mrs. Sleche, and back in 2002, who wanted to establish a school where their three children and grandchildren would attend and receive the best of both primary and secondary education.
got an award of most talented girl, yet we're over a hundred of people is here and then I was chosen as the the most who had talent. So it was very great for me, I was very happy. And then Chalo has been a very encouraging school. Ever since I came to Chalo Trust School, my results weren't that good. But then I stayed here for three years and then my results are very high and I'm writing my exams. I'm starting them today, starting with English. Thank you. After winning that award, um, yeah, it really feels good. But um, I'd like to thank all those that gave it to me, um, which are the people who are listening. Um, talent is something special to us. It's something that only specific people are able to do. Um, very few, very few people are able to be actually recognized when it comes to such things. Testimonials that we hear from the children and from their parents or their guardians, clearly indicates that uh, Chalo Trust School uh, has set very high standards which cannot be compared to many of our competitors. CTS is set in a serene environment with natural vegetation. At CTS, we believe an academic environment must be situated in a natural environment where pupils will interact with nature in a way that reduces stress and facilitates long hours of study. At CTS, we have special created natural parks for study and relaxation. Pupils are encouraged to participate in tree and flower planting and maintenance of the surrounding of the school. The beauty of having a greenhouse within the school is to teach the children to appreciate nature in terms of flowers. It's a very serene environment and the children can learn the names of the flowers. They can learn that um, the environment is a very, uh, it has to be beautified for them to live uh, well. Uh, it helps them when they are depressed. It helps them to forget about books just for a little while and concentrate on uh, uh, something other than academics. Sometimes uh, we give them an hour or two hours they come in, they look at the plants, they help water the plants, they help dig through the plants, and it helps them to learn that it's, uh, uh, they, they can use their hands actually physically to, to make uh, a place become beautiful. At CTS, we believe in providing the opportunities to our pupils to excel, not only in academics, but in extracurricular activities such as sports, our pupils have excelled to the highest level of sporting, including football, basketball, netball, and athletics. Sport is important because it keeps the body healthy. Yes, very healthy. Um, you don't really easily get diseases like fatigue, you know, the things that block your vessels and stuff like that. Yeah, and I won an award because Chalo promotes a lot of stuff like sport. And the category was discus. Yeah, I got second position at national level. For someone like me, I can easily lose weight and I'm given time to exercise. And it, it clears your breathing. You don't feel tired. You feel more energetic after sports and you study better. Exercise is important because it, it will make you strong. It can make you healthy and it can make you grow very big and when you grow you will be showing people that you are strong. We've taken it as a serious topic where every people should not swim. In case of any danger of water, they'll be able to swim and to save their lives themselves. Chalo Trust School has, in the recent past, undertaken extensive and massive renovations of its buildings to bring them to the state of art that are comparable to none. 
to facilitate the living and learning conditions or environment for the pupils. Well, Chalo Trust School has proven to me as head boy to be a well facilitated area. It has been, uh, as it is a school living standard, it has also facilitated uh, well living standards even at the hostels. For example, you can see the towels here. Pupils have a chance uh, to have some cold water in case in the evenings we would like something to drink or to partake. Yeah, we can do that. Ochal Trust School, as we have seen already, has very clean domes. We have some new towels here, which uh, uh, have been a, an improvement and still improving on Chalo Trust School living standards. Or oh, even as I come from home, I come here, my parents drop me. I don't even feel like I'm going somewhere else because basically Chalo Trust School has proven to me to be a home itself. If you just look around, you can see that it's a very beautiful place. You can basically eat off the floor. It's that clean. Whatever these things we need to dispose of are disposed of very carefully. We teach our girls uh, everything that they need to know for them to take care of themselves and have uh, a unique shower. It's basically like a home experience. The showers are very um, high standard. They're very high class. We make sure that they wake up by five. The siren is blared and everyone around the school hears it and they wake up, bath, clean themselves and clean up their surroundings and we make sure that they don't leave all the work to the auntie because we want them to grow up disciplined. When I read my grade 7 exams, we were looking for a school to go to, so Chalo was best priority because it was a Christian school. When I came here, I found friends, good friends who helped me in many things. The first thing I thought, since it's a boarding school, I thought my friends would be bullying me, I'll be bullied, I'll be neglected, but no. When you come with this school, when I came, my friends will welcome me nicely, and I'm here peacefully. It's fun, we enjoy. My best thing I liked in here is playing with my dolly. This is my wonderful dolly. When I first came to Chalotra school, I thought that I won't be doing well, but the teachers took time to help me. They took time to mentor me. And when my grade nine mock examination came, I entered the examination room calm and I wrote everything that my teachers taught me. And to the glory of God, I passed. So I would advise you to bring your children here to Chalotra school because the academic standards are good. The teachers don't neglect you if you can't understand. They'll keep on asking you and helping you till you understand. Mm, why I came to Chalo is that I have to learn good manners and, I, mm, and so that I can learn good manners and when I grow up in the future, I don't want to be selling like fruits on the streets and stealing other things from other people. They teach me good manners. When we have done wrong, they will punish us. That is showing that they are teaching us how to grow up in, in, in a good way. <laughs> when we grow up also, we also teach our, our children good manners. And why I like Chalo, it's because that, that um, there is always talent show, musical concerts. Um, they also give awards when you, when you first award. has helped me identify the areas of my strengths and my talents. At Chalo Trust School, you are introduced to the Lord Jesus Christ. You are also encouraged to read the Bible and to know more about God. Who would have known that I'm a good dramatist, 
or that I have leadership qualities, if not for the wonderful grooming I have received at Chalo Trust. The encounter with the Lord is real. I would encourage you, our parents, to bring your children to Chalo Trust School, where your children shall know more about the Lord. It is important that parents know that they should send their children to a school that will shape their children's lives in readiness for the future. I'm a living testimony. The Lord served at Chalo Trust School has changed me. I have received the best at Chalo Trust School. Come and let your child also receive the best education at Chalo Trust. CTS has produced responsible citizens who have taken positions in industry, including medicine, banking, accountancy, engineering, education, and sports. I can say that I've learned more biology outside the classroom than inside. I would encourage you parents to bring your children to Chalo Trust School, where they've realized that learning is not only about books and boards, but also practical experiences outside the classroom. I have no regrets that my daughter came to this school. I have a son who is also in this school, and I just hope that opportunity allows the others to follow through. The responsible adult I'll be out in the world, I owe it all to this school and my parents. My name is Lombe Chileshe and I attended Chalo from 2005 to 2009. I remember coming in as a shy, tiny and timid boy and leaving five years later as a young man. Almost exactly five years on from my graduation, I can look back with sincere gratitude for all the teaching and experiences I had at Chalo. I am thankful for all the advice and lessons all my teachers and administrators gave me and I'm grateful for all the friendships I made because those people and friends Help shape me to become who I am today. How have you managed to be so consistent from term to term and year to year? What makes what is the secret of your your consistency? Consistent study and consistent concentration. Constantly going back to my books. I am currently pursuing a degree in software engineering in China, and I am on the verge of graduating as I only have about eight months left. Thanks to the work culture and studying habits instilled in me at Chalo, I have been able to handle most of my classes with relative ease. Also, the leadership experience I gained as deputy head boy in my final year of high school has come in handy. On occasions, I've helped to perform group-oriented programming assignments, and I've never had problems stepping up to lead small teams to complete various kinds of tasks. I recall one occasion in my software analysis and design class where I had a group of five students I was the only foreigner and the other four students were Chinese. Their English wasn't so great and my Chinese isn't too good either. Uh, but in spite of the communication barrier, I was able to lead the group to complete a great term project and give us a good score of 85 for the semester. Apart from my classes, I am also currently doing a software engineering internship in a small Chinese startup company called Anmobi. The company focuses on designing and writing mobile applications Android and iOS phones. Since I am still an intern, I am required to perform a wide range of tasks, ranging from testing to marketing to even making tutorial videos for the company's products. I appreciate the experience and take this as a time to learn what the real software industry actually looks like. In addition to this, I also took up a part-time job teaching English to kids in, Chinese, in the Chinese Learning Center. It has been a great experience although I haven't had much time to work there lately. I have high hopes for my future. After I complete my degree, I hope to pursue a higher degree and look for a permanent job. But none of these dreams would be possible without the foundation Chalo Trust School built for me. All right, my name is Chilando Machuta. I went to Chalo Trust School in 2005 till 2008. I was uh, the head boy of Chalo Trust School in 2008. How did I end up at Chalo? Uh, a friend of mine recommended me to go there, who was currently there. I came straight from South Africa to Zambia, and that was the first school that I chose that I was going to go to. My experiences at Chalo were tough in the beginning because it was my first time being in boarding school, so it was quite hard for me to adapt. But eventually I got hold of it due to 
the good people that were there, the good students that were there, that made me adapt quickly. And the friendly nature that was there made it easy for me to make the transition from being a person who has always been in day school to go to boarding school. Uh, right now we deal with investments, we're dealing with uh, finding money for the company, investing that money and ensuring that we use the money well and money is available at all times within the organization so that we can be able to have a good working capital for the company. I moved to Chalo in 2004. Uh, we're one of the first students. Yeah, well, at Chalo, I got to learn more of the Word, the Word of God. I got to learn more of the Bible, and you know, we had like, daily devotions here and there. And well, Chalo helped helped me discover myself, and it helped me know who I was, realize my potential and what I was good at. Because it had so many activities, you know, we had all the clubs and we had sports and, you know, my heart was just filled with sport and that's where my heart was. So. Phenomenal growth that we have experienced at Chalo Trust School in terms of uh, the numbers of children uh, who have enrolled in the last two, three years, clearly indicates um, that as a school, we have set very high standards. 2014 marks our 10th year of existence. Today, we are graduating 28 pupils who are moving on to institutions of higher learning, both locally and internationally. We wish them success in their pursuit of excellence in whatever career endeavors they have chosen to undertake. officiate at this very important 10 year anniversary and graduation ceremony of Chalo Trust School. It is an important landmark of the school on the calendar of the year 2014 as it also coincides with our country's jubilee. So you are lucky that your 10 years falls in the blessed year of jubilee. I'm given to understand that the school has grown from strength to strength from the first nine children at inception in 2004 to over 200 children this year. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not easy for a private school to run for a decade. And we saw in the testimony from uh, Mr. Chileje some of the challenges that the school we went through, but because they had the focus as a couple, God has seen them through. I'm very excited. This is one of uh, the most um, exciting moments in the life of a school. When we bring children from grade 8 and we take them all the way into grade 12, and we, we bring them to a time when we send them into the world. Well, this day has been special and it's one of the most memorable moments at Chalo. I'm, I've just graduated and I'm so excited, I'm so happy to go into society and see what, what society has in store for me. Well, this day is my graduation day, of which I get to... Well, 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 what can I say? Um, I'm speechless, I don't know which term is the right one to use, but I think I'm full of joy. It's, I don't know. I'll leave it to you to think of the words, probably. I'm 
I want to study accountancy, but if things go well, I want to do a double course with our crime and investigation. But that only depends with dad's pocket. Yeah. <laughs> the profession will not allow him. Yeah, but if he wants to be an accountant, um, maybe he takes after me. And I take after my father as well as an accountant. So it's a family thing. Um, so he's quite inspired when he sees me doing all these accounting works. We can say that uh, we've graduated up to this point uh, 331 students from the time of the inception of the school in 2004. And uh, this day uh, marks um, one of our, those great days. I'm saying congratulations to her. Well done, my daughter. Go there in the world and show what you have learned. I want to say thank you very much for my mom who's raised me till this time. It has not been easy, I know, but then she's managed. So I say thank you very much. She is now a stronger girl and she's someone of, uh, with integrity and she's someone that loves the Lord. So I'm so grateful to the child management for what they've done in my daughter's life. Surely, Channel Trust School must be the destination for your child. It is your place where your child needs to be.